And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two What's and a Wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. <laughs> and the category or theme for today is birds. Mindy, why don't you refresh our contestants on how the game works? You know it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about birds. But, and this is a big but. Only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? In each round, if you guess correctly, congratulations, you get a point. But if you guess incorrectly, you must stop, drop, and do a redonkulous physical challenge. Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Great, let's do it. Okay, round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, there are more species of flightless birds than birds that can fly? Or is it B, many birds' feathers weigh more than their bones? Or is it C, there are 11 species of birds that have teeth? When you think you have the correct answer, sing it like a bird. <laughs> Thinking music. And time is up. Let's now reveal the winning wow. And calling in with the answer, it's Jenna from Florida. Jenna, tell us, what's the winning wow? I'm Mindy and Gary Ross. My wow was that many birds' feathers weigh more than their bones. Bye, love your show. Winner, winner, feathers for dinner! Thank you, Jenna. Contestants, if you guessed the answer B, that many bird feathers weigh more than their bones, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. Most birds have bones full of air pockets, which makes them lightweight and strong. But not all bones in a bird's body are hollow, and some birds have more than others. Birds that fly tend to have more, while birds that dive underwater tend to have fewer. Now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and fly south for the winter. <laughs> okay, round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards? Or is it B, storks usually lay up to 12 eggs at a time? Or is it C, the African fish eagle is the fastest bird in the world? When you think you have the correct answer, write it with your elbow. <laughs> Reggie, cue the thinking music. Time is up. Joining us by phone, it's Isla from Nevada. Isla, please reveal the winning wow. Hi, my name is Isla. And did you know that hummingbirds are the only bird that can actually fly backwards? Winner, winner, sugar, water for dinner! That's right, Isla. If you also guessed A, that hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. Hummingbirds are the only birds that can truly hover like a helicopter. They can fly in any direction and even upside down. Now, while other birds' wings flap in an up and down motion, a hummingbird moves its wings back and forth and can rotate its wings 180 degrees. This lets hummingbirds move in whatever direction they want. 
Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and hum your least favorite song. <laughs> okay, round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, blue jays used to have yellow feathers in the 1800s? Or is it B, emperor penguins can hold their breath for 22 minutes? Or is it C, ostriches and emus are actually the same species? Hey, Reg, <laughs> thinking music, please. <laughs> And time is up. Joining us by phone to reveal the answer, it's Henry from California. Henry, tell us the winning wow. My wow is that emperor penguins can hold their breath for 20 minutes. Winner, winner, frozen fish for dinner. Thank you, Henry. Contestants, if you guessed the answer B, that emperor penguins can hold their breath for 22 minutes, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. Emperor penguins eat fish, krill, and squid, so they need to be able to hold their breath for a long time while they hunt. In fact, they can hold their breath longer than any other species of bird. They can also slow down their heart rates from 70 beats per minute to just 10 beats per minute, which helps them conserve oxygen while they're underwater. Now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and waddle like a penguin. <laughs> ah, what was that? Oh, Guy Raz, that sound can mean only one thing. You've been baking exploding mini muffins again? Mindy, we talked about this. No, I mean... Yes, I have, but no, this sound means that it's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is, is a cold hot pocket just a pocket? Food for thought. Although I don't recommend eating a cold hot pocket. <laughs> well, uh, congratulations to all of our winning wowzers. Mindy, what's today's prize? Guy Raz, today's winning wowzers will all receive their very own invisible, screaming, wake up time machine! Oh, uh, what? This amazing machine not only tells the time, it screams it at you when it's time to wake up. Uh, do you mean an alarm clock? Yeah, but when you say it like that, it sounds a little alarming, Guy Raz. <laughs> Uh, I see. Uh, yes, your way sounds much calmer. Uh, well, uh, Wowzers, that's about all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little scientific challenge for you. We call it Bird Buffet. For this challenge, we want you to make your very own bird feeder. Find a pine cone or a toilet paper tube and attach a string to it. Cover it with unsalted peanut butter or sunflower butter and roll it around in seeds. Then hang it outside your window and watch the birds go to town. And don't forget to take a photo or a video. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World and again on Friday for a brand new episode of Two What's in a Wow. Until then, keep, keep on, on wowing! wowing.